Hi everybody, good evening, good afternoon from the Wolfhaven farm. Mary has important information, important information. Hi everybody, so first of all, all those in Florida, we really, we hope you're safe, you're in a safe place, we hope the storm doesn't impact you too badly. The report doesn't look so good, but I'm hoping it all, it's, it lessens and doesn't hit the coast so hard and doesn't pour all over all of you in uh, Central Florida. So be safe, we're thinking of all of you. And it's kind of weird for us actually not being there and riding out a hurricane because I think it's the first major one that we haven't been in Florida to ride out. But we're wishing you all the best. But we do have an update. So as you recall, earlier this year, we found a packet of money uh, excavating that hillside up there where the rocks are and the little table and chairs are. And we were able to salvage a couple of the bills, but we needed to send the rest of the bills off to the mutilated currency division of the U.S. Treasury. And to, to kind of get you up to speed. So is that was, really a thing? It is really a thing. <laughs> so it was a packet of $10 bills. It was all the bills were dated 1928 and it was wrapped in a newspaper from the Denver Post dated 1934. So we know it was in the ground for a long time. It was in a mason jar because we found pieces of the jar, but the jar lid had broken at some point and so water had seeped in and damaged a lot of the bills. And so the mutilated currency division of the U.S. Treasury Service takes in mutilated currency and replaces it and they send you a check which we got in the mail this week so this is a check for four hundred dollars for the money that we found in the ground we did save a couple of the bills so we have them but the rest of this is going to go for a tree that we're going to plant where we found the money as a way of paying it forward we've been trying to trace who lived on this property or who could have been in this area back in 1934 we know this cabin was built in 82. We can trace the property ownership back to 1981, but that obviously leaves a 50 plus year gap that we haven't been able to track down. Despite going through all the records in Flagstaff, talking to the libraries, looking through newspapers, we haven't been able to figure it out yet. But we're not gonna stop, we're gonna keep trying. We know this whole area were sheep herders, we know they were cattle farmers, and we know a lot of those who were in the Conservation Corps came over here after they finished the Hoover Dam, which is in the same time frame. And so, the lumber mill was here. And the lumber mill was also here. So it was in Williams as well as in Flagstaff. So it could have been just a traveler going through. It could have been somebody hiding their depression money. We have no idea. But as a thank you and a way of paying it forward, we're going to use this money to buy a really nice tree and plant it over by where we found it. So we wanted to give you that update that uh, we did hear back and got our check back so we can go purchase our tree. And we'll keep you posted if we find out any more information on the property or who this could have possibly have belonged to. So again, wish everybody safe. Hope everybody has a good week. And we will talk to you again soon. That's it from Wolfhaven Farm. Thanks, everyone.